hello welcome back to ASP.NET MVC tutorial so this is part 11 of this video series so before proceeding please watch part 10 of this video series because in that tutorial I have just designed this form using HTML helper now in this tutorial I'm going to submit a form and save a record in an MVC application so let's get started so uh, I have just designed this uh, table department table and this employee table right now it has five record okay now let's flip to the visual studio and uh, let's check in the previous video I have just uh, designed this form means uh, it, it consists a drop down list uh, which is dynamically bind with this department okay now let's run this project and uh, let's have a view of this form here you go okay so this is my drop down list which is dynamically bind with department okay and now here you can insert your name address and this is checkbox so right now I'm just removing this checkbox because uh, it uh, I'm not going to use it okay so let's comment it okay so now I'm going to save uh, my data so let's stop this application and just write a, your own method like save record okay now let's delete it okay and now here after clicking on submit button I will just call this method save record okay so here use at the rate using okay now put at the rate or HTML dot begin form okay now write your method name so your ne method name is save save record and then you can see uh, your string action name and string controller name so specify your controller name test controller so test controller name and then you can see your form method so I'm going to post I'm going to use post so form method dot post okay now keep all this element inside this HTML begin form okay so now let's put a breakpoint here okay so this will definitely uh, when I click on submit button then definitely it will call this save recall method okay and here uh, after submitting form I need uh, that value means drop down list value uh, name address okay so as you see uh, when you go to the definition then you can see this model is strongly bind with this form okay so now go to the controller and use this form as a model okay now let's run this project now select this departments suppose I have just selected development department and uh, I want to s just write any name like uh, Rob 
okay and put a London okay now click on submit button now if you see uh, like if you hover on your this model then expand it you can see the address is London uh, department is 3 and uh, your name is Rob so as you just insert it, it, it because it is a strongly uh, a strongly type view so uh, these all three uh, three uh, you can see this three uh, element is strongly bind with that model so here you can get those value okay so now the last thing is that you need to save it into the DV okay so now I have to create one object for this model okay employee okay now I will just create an object of employee EMP equals new employee so I have just created an employee object now I will just put uh, set all this value except employee ID now name equals because I have just received it in a parameter so model dot name okay and EMP dot now I will just put address equals uh, model dot address a vast virus database has been updated okay now address okay and now EMP dot uh, the last thing is a department ID okay so department ID would be model dot department ID okay and now employee dot your table name is employee sorry db dot your table name is employees dot add now I'm going to add this class employee okay and db dot save changes this this is necessary okay and now suppose uh, I want to get the latest ID so get latest latest EMP ID equal equals uh, now employee dot employee ID okay so it's better to keep all this in uh, in try catch statement okay so so that you can ha handle an exception okay so put try and then finally catch exception ex okay and now uh, whatever you want to do here so now you can throw your exception ex okay now let's select it control x and put it into the try block okay you can use using using keyword to in order to handle this also okay now finally after submitting a form and saving record uh, now I, I want to just redirect it to the index okay so just redirect to action and pass the action name index okay so if you see it only requires uh, action name and has five or overloaded method okay 
now let's run this project and let's see what's gonna happen here so here in database my latest ID is 5 okay here you go okay now I'm going to select this uh, suppose I'm I have selected marketing and uh, write the name Sarah okay now New York okay so now I'm going to submit this form and you can see in the model I have received address department and name Sarah okay now function F10 okay here you can see now employee class has employee name okay and uh, the next step is F10 and now the save changes now now you have you have just got your latest employee ID means if you just refresh this just select top thousand record and you can see Sarah okay so in this way you can so I have just read redirect redirected back to the index index page okay so now you here you can save multiple record with uh, by submitting a form so nowadays submitting a form is not recommended anymore uh, nowadays uh, people require to use I means so people are going to use frequently going to use J jquery uh, ajax method because it's uh, it uh, does not load your whole page okay so in the later video session we will just save record using ajax call also okay so I am done okay thank you very much for watching my video if you really like then give a thumbs up and please subscribe my channel uh, youtube user apka nigam and uh, please like our page facebook.com slash techno tips tutorial okay thank you very much have a great day bye bye